Properties of quadrilaterals. How many lines of symmetry does a square have? Well, four. Shouldn't need to think about that. One, two, one, two, three, four. If it's a rectangle, you've got to be careful not to include the diagonals. Here are four quadrilaterals. Give a reason why each of the quadrilaterals could be the odd one out. Now, probably best to think about what is special about each quadrilateral and then see what the difference is. So when we're looking at a rhombus, all the sides are the same. We have um, two lines of symmetry. Diagonals cross at right angles. Parallelogram, we have opposite sides of parallel. Okay, that's the same in a rhombus as well. We have um, no lines of symmetry, no symmetry. We have rotational symmetry equals order two. Um, the diagonals um, don't, don't cross at right angles. Um, the kite, we have one line of symmetry. We have uh, diagonals cross at right angles. Um, we have no rotational symmetry. Okay, so we've got one reason why the rhombus could be the one out. Well, the clearly obvious one there is all the sides the same, all equal sides. Um, the parallelogram could be the odd one out. Well, the parallelogram, these two have diagonals cross at um, right angles. This one doesn't, so diagonals don't cross at right angles. Another thing you can do is um, talk about the rotational symmetry or no symmetry, no line symmetry. Or you could say it's got rotational symmetry order two, but I think the rhombus probably does as well, so that wouldn't work, it wouldn't be unique. The kite, um, odd one out, so one line of symmetry. Any one of these would do. Um, no rotational symmetry. And uh, opposite sides are not equal, which these two were. Well, there's plenty of reasons there.